Hello guys, it's me Axon. I will be going through the installation process of Phonixus Dark Matter Windows Installer and make sure that you have no background processes running and uh, let's just open the Windows Installer now here is it I'm gonna open it now uh, after you see the welcome screen click on next then select the auto mode after that click on ok and make sure that you have read the license agreement after that click next and wait for a few seconds it's gonna uh, process a few things in the background and then we'll continue the installation now you need a ext4 partition uh, so that you can in install Phonixos Dark Matter in that since Phonixos is a Linux based operating system so it works the best on a ext4 partition so click on the partition tool and it should open the uh, partition tool uh, once it's running you need to resize an existing partition so that you can get an new empty partition so just right click on an existing partition I'm going to use this dark matter one uh, I'm going to use this database one right click on it and then resize partition after that uh, you need you're going to need at least a partition which has 6 gigabytes of capacity and that's pretty much the minimum requirement so I'm going to just do that uh, or you can have uh, any size if you want it doesn't matter but the minimum requirement is 6 GB you can see the size here I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it's 6 GB now now you got to click on start but I already got an empty partition but so so I'm not going to do that uh, here here is the empty partition right click on the empty partition you should get this after you have resized the partition uh, right click on it and click on create new partition after that select the partition type and select ext4 Linux data and give the level to dark matter ok then just click on save all and it should format the new partition and done now just simply close the window uh, partition tool then click on next and next then select the xt4 partition which you just made earlier next and make sure everything is fine here and you selected the right one then click on next and now it's installing the directory bootloader uh, phonix source dark matter uh, will be using it for multi booting between windows and the os itself so wait for a few minutes and now it's uh, copying the system files required for booting dark matter as you can see the installation was successful now all you gotta do is just reboot uh, into phonix dark matter and then uh, open your android terminal by pressing l plus f1 or l plus f2 after that type in gear lock and then select the option on it will decompress your system image to an independent folder for ensuring the best performance you can also find this uh, last step guide in my website i hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys we'll see you in another video sometime later so just make sure that you have notifications enabled for supremegamers.com so i am excellent signing out